Okay, welcome to this edition of the Institute. I'm going to try to help explain number 50 here. So it says this pilot is going to fly her route in two straight line segments. The displacement vector A for the first segment is 244 kilometers, 30 degrees north of east. The second one is 175 kilometers direction due west. And we're trying to find the resultant displacement, which is really the sum of these two. And uh, when we write that, remember these are all vectors. So if you technically have little arrows on top, we're not talking about just addition. So to do this, we need to draw this out. So if I pick some point that they're starting at, we know the first one is going to travel some direction like this. So this is my 244 kilometers. And then the 30 degrees that down here is going to be this. So this is where my 30 degrees north of east is because this would be an east line and I'm measuring north of it to get to this vector. Then from there, we're going to have this second vector. So we're going to imagine that she's flying to this particular point and then from there, she's going to fly 175 due west. So she's going to fly from here and head straight west. Now the common mistake on this problem is people do this. They draw this 175, and so it does this. And then they say, hey, I want that resultant vector, which is going to just go from here to there. And then they make this assumption that that's a right triangle, and then they figure it out from there. And their result is just a vector that's heading straight north. That is not the case. You cannot make that assumption. So I don't want you to make that assumption. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of those by vector. And then what I'm going to do is I need to figure out how far this 175 is. So the easiest way to do that is to actually break this 244 up into how far east do they, whoops, let's get my pin back. How far east do they go and how far north do they go? So we're going to find those two components. So to find this north component, we're going to take the fact that it would be the hypotenuse, 244, multiplied, and since that's the opposite side, times the sine of 30 degrees. And we calculate that out. And then to figure out how far east they travel, it's going to be the 244, the hypotenuse, multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. What you will find is that they actually travel more to the east than 175, so this vector coming back is something like this. This is where they finish at. So the resultant vector is going from this start point up to that finish point. So this is vector R that you're trying to find. What I would highly suggest is now that I know how far east they went in the first part and how far west they went in the second part, we should be able to find, and I'm going to try to draw this out as best I can, we should be able to find how far east of their starting point they are. So it's going to be this little piece, which is really the difference between this east down here and this 175 up there. And then we know how far north they travel. So from there, we can figure out this part. Here's my northern part. And then this is my right triangle. So I have this hypotenuse of R. I have this is how far north they went. This little piece right here is the difference between 175 and this east. And then the angle they want is with respect to due east. So they want this angle right here. They want to know what that theta is. So you, you've always got to pull out that extra little triangle that they're actually working with. So I hope that helps with this particular problem.